My parents gave me so much. And I was so loved. I love you, Kara. My parents put me on that pod. Krypton. I don't think I realized what was actually happening. I, I didn't know that I was saying goodbye to them forever. I saw Krypton explode and then being stuck floating through space for so long knowing I could never have my life back. It was so quiet. Silence was the worst part. I felt completely cut off from everything and everyone I've ever known. I remember being alone in that pod and not knowing if I was going to see anyone ever again. And then I landed here. So does he understand that he abandoned you with us? Do you? No one asked me if I wanted these powers. I can't use these powers. I'm not allowed. All I want to do is help people with what I've been given, and no one will let me. I have to suppress them. I do know how it feels to keep a part of yourself shut off, to keep it inside. And I know how lonely that can make you feel. You were the first person I told I was Supergirl. And her! The woman who saved the plane! You're... you're her! Yep. It's the flight Alex was on that I saved. The night I became Supergirl. What were you thinking? You're out there now, Kara. Everyone will know about you and you can't take that back! I didn't travel 2,000 light years just to be an assistant. How am I supposed to really become a hero if Superman has to keep saving me? Kara, you are amazing. You leap into the sky head first into danger. And you don't seem scared of falling. Mm, what's so bad about falling? Seeing you and Lucy makes me think that I'm never gonna have what you two have. Someone who knows everything about me. My perfect partner at a game night. <laughs> You and me together, that's all I wanted. I know that we are best as friends. I chose being Supergirl over having a relationship. What? That's smile. I'm just happy for the first time ever. I really like someone. Love someone. I love you. I should have said it before. And it didn't work. Being a hero and falling in love, those are not easy things. I can't do this. No, it's over. I'm starting to think that maybe it's just not in the cards for me. He didn't dump me. You have to go. I sent him away. This was all I wanted. And when I saw you on that ship, I felt like I could hope again. Shame on me for having a human heart. I tried to be Cara Danvers for 15 years, but I'm not supposed to be her. I'm not supposed to be human. You know who you are as Supergirl. Who you are as Cara. <laughs> That's what defines you. Who I am with Cara feels broken. You are not broken. You're the strongest person I know. My life as Supergirl is the one thing I can count on. I can feel strong, even though a huge part of me feels so weak. I'm just accepting the fact that I'm not human. Kara, we are the same. James? No, we are not the same. You are a human. One human error, and you're gone. That's it. So most people only have one way to fight for justice, but luckily, I have two. I want to be a reporter. When I write, I don't need a yellow sun. It's just me. You put my name in the byline? You have integrity to right wrongs and to see justice done. I'm always going to follow my heart. Supergirl is what I can do. Kara is who I am. Supergirl Danvers. Balancing Kara and being a hero, that's who I am. I told you that Kara Danvers was my favorite person. Kara Danvers is my favorite person. And then I told you to forget who you were. Be cold. Be Kryptonian. 
the decision I made, he couldn't have made that sacrifice. I couldn't have done it, Carl. But me, I couldn't have lived with myself if I hadn't. You are so much stronger than me. I will always make the decision I made. I'm so sorry. I am not a human. Growing up on Earth, I never felt normal. I felt like an alien on Earth for so long. Being myself doesn't make me feel more normal. And it never will. I was so strong. I, I could have hurt him. I practiced being gentle. He helped me feel like a human. My normal life ended the second my parents put me on that ship. And that makes me so mad. You let everyone that I love die. I've been abandoned before. I didn't want to be abandoned again. You left me! You left me alone! You sent me away! How could you do that? Is this their legacy? Death and destruction? <laughs> do you know what it's like to walk into a room and your skin and feel like it's going to be seared off your bones? Please. We're like nails are running through your blood. That's what kryptonite feels like. This substance is so lethal to me that I can't risk encountering it by mistake. Every bad thought I've ever had, it just came to the surface. I couldn't stop it. What have I done? Did I kill anyone? What's my fault? I know, he's dead, I know it. I should have found another way. I killed him. I've lost track of what I stand for. Everyone's legacy is not death and destruction, Carl. Stay with me. Stay here. Stay here. That's you. I am so proud of you. You stuck to your ideals and found a way when there was none. I'm supposed to stand for, for truth. But how am I supposed to be truthful? Really truthful. You can't be all things to all people. All you can do is be true to yourself. We need to know your secret identity, Supergirl. I'm sorry, sir. I can't give you what you want. If I did that, sir, everyone I know, everyone I love, would be at risk. No one should be above the rest of us. But you are dismissed, effective immediately. You can't take yours off because you do it to protect us. My secret identity is there to protect people. The people you care about. I know it takes its toll. The United States does not want a war with Supergirl. And I trust you won't start one.